scenario, zombie bites a werewolf. So every lunar cycle you'd have random zombies wolfing out in the middle of the horde and becoming like super zombies. But maybe they would fall apart under the bone cracking strain of transformation. Or even be vulnerable to silver. Is this why all those commercials are telling me to invest in silver? Oh, also, zombie fleas? Okay, scenario, zombie bites a vampire. Because, you know, why would a vampire bite a zombie? So the vampire is already undead, so does he simply develop a taste for flesh and become a ghoul? Is this how ghouls are made? Why isn't there a t-shirt explaining this that I can buy? On the plus side, no one would want to fuck a vampire who looked like Abe Vigoda on bath salts, so lives might actually be saved. Scenario, zombie creature from the Black Lagoon. That's one critter you would not want on the business end of your fishing line. Way worse than hooking some old boot. Does zombie Gillman try to eat humans or would he eat fish? Or does he just starve because he's the only Gillman? Does Gillman ever catch a break? Scenario, zombie Phantom of the Opera. Actually, I think we have, uh, we have him here right now. Let's, let's listen in. Uh, uh, yep. Uh, okay. Uh, Alright, that's, um... That's fine. Okay, that's enough. Scenario. Zombie Godzilla. Well, the plague would spread a hell of a lot faster with a giant zombie breathing on everybody. Scenario. Zombie Invisible Man. Now, when H.G. Wells' Invisible Man died, he became visible again. But what if undeath allowed him to circumvent that? What if there were thousands of invisible zombies? We'd have to rely a whole lot more on sound and smell to detect them. And that may not be easy in a post-apocalyptic world where everyone smells the way that George Buckflower looked.